got a herd coming through. Shant and I don't know what else. Oh, two theories. Shant and two theories. Say hi. Let's go this way. <clears throat> Shant and Tooth, there's a very, very hard fight for me. Um, I'd have to bite the theories at least, I want to say, three, four times to make them bleed. And then I could focus on the Shant. Now the problem with that is, they're gonna heal before I do, so I have to be extremely careful not to take too many hits. Because if I do, the fight's gonna be over. Oh, there's also an Anki. Yikes. This might be nearly impossible. Unless they're bad. Are oh, the terrace full? Look full. Decisions, decisions. Should three calling you a little Anki. Did land about three bites though. That's good. Alright, so he's trying to uh, bait me to run into him. Because if they or the shans can get up and stomp right away, instantly. So he doesn't know that I know that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run around him on the left side. Well, my left, his right. While he's trying to do that and get behind him and start numbing that booty. Here we go.
The others are just watching. Alright, so headbots I can tank maybe... I wanna say maybe four more hits before I die. Unfortunately, aggro heal is extremely slow, so it's pointless for me to even try to heal. Because this screen right now, first screen, it would take me like half an hour to heal by sitting. Maybe even more. So there's just no point to try. Not until I kill this guy. I'm just filling up on stamina by walking around. <clears throat> Before I crouch again and try to run around them. I wanna have full stamina. You say something? Hmm? Ooh, Sarah's. I think there's Sarah's. Yep, look like Sarah's. On the other side of the herd. Yeah, I think the herd uh, just want to watch me. Try to fight the Shant. I don't know if they know who I am. But I mean, who else has the audacity as an aggro to attack two theories, Stego, or not Stego, Anki, and a Shant? So they might figure out that it's me. Unfortunately. Would have been a little bit more fun if uh, trying to run around all of them. But that's okay. Shant is already a big challenge. Yeah, I'm full stamina. Let's see if I can run around him. I reckon I'd need another 10 bites, maybe more, to bleed it out. Probably more than that. If he doesn't readjust again, I'm gonna run around him. I can actually get a little bit closer. I'm just testing him at this point to see how, how well he's gonna turn, how well he's gonna try to run at me, etc, etc. Right now it seems like He's looking to stomp me. So he doesn't want to move. Alright, let's go. Must be not landing hits. There you go, landed that one. Oh, left side, gotta be careful and got hit. Gotta stay away. Ah, I turned really bad there. I couldn't turn around. But I think I got enough bites on it to bleed it out. Uh, 
Alright, I'm on second screen. Yeah, I, I can probably tank two more hits at least. And then the fifth one will kill me. Or third one from this point. He got me twice so far, I think. Get hit there? No. Nope. You dead boy. He can't shake me. <gasps> Got hit. Oh, that's it. I'm out of here. Next one might kill me. Don't want to risk it. Just keep him standing. I love acros. They're so good at turning with Z-Walk. Look at this. Not quite on a dime like a Utah, but very, very good. And very, very fast. Get too close because I don't want to get hit again. I hit there. Gonna be a little bit more careful with the angle when I go in. Because my tail is so huge, or so long, I should say. And the way it whips, it's very, very dangerous. Like when I run, run around the shant, you can hit the tip of my tail basically. And Next one might kill me. It might not, but it might, and I don't want to risk it. Let him bleed. Just abandon them. <laughs> oh, what a terrible herd. Unless the Shen told them they want to solo. Cause some Shens do that. They just want to fight something. Screen is here on. Um, I'm gonna say third.
And dead. So that was fourth actually. Oh yeah, he's much bloodier than I thought. What you screeching at? That's a three call. Mm, I gotta be careful here. Well, actually, no, I can just run them down at this point, right? Oh, I healed one screen, that's good. So the Sham wouldn't have killed me with one hit, because I was just early third, not late third. Okay, <clears throat> I can run down either Sarah at this point, my ambush speed. Let me show you how long and how quick acro ambush speed is. I'm going to go for the, the one that's further away, the brown one. Let me chase them even further away. And I'm gonna show you how to run something down as an acro, which is absolutely look how far it is. Okay, the brown one is gonna die. It's not gonna get away from me. Take my sham body, you can have your back mate. Oh, I love acros. The problem with the acros is the tail. It's a huge, huge problem. When you fight Gigas and uh, Rexes, and you're circling around them, behind them, trying to bite them, look how much my tail whips. And that whipping puts the tail... So my head is basically would be on the right side of a Rex and my tail would be on the left side of a Rex that's how huge it is and how much it arcs and then the Rex just turns left and spams bites gets the tip of my tail and breaks the leg and I die and that's very very challenging thing to keep your tail tucked away from the hitbox so super hard but still doable but that's one thing that I don't like about Acros is that's super long tail that arcs really far. Anyway, now to eat and then heal for the next two hours. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!